Hey there everyone, this is Danielle playing some Pokemon Swoosh, which I haven't played in a while actually. Um, so if I just check out where we're at, uh, we're in Hammerlock right now, I believe this is where the fourth gym is. If I take a look at my, uh, my badges, I think it's this one, leak code. Yeah, I've got three. You can see I've got fire, water, and grass. I don't know what the next one actually is. So hopefully I have Pokemon that'll work for it. Anyway, the stadium is this way. Oh, it looks nice. Hamelock Stadium doubles as an energy plant. Now, have a look at my tablet. I've got all the information you need on it. Okay. See? An easy to understand description of the energy plant. It would help if the words were in a language I could read. Um, I don't think that's a real language, I think that's just random symbols. First, energy absorbed from Hamelock Stadium's tower. Then, it's changed into electricity in the underground power plant and delivered to people throughout the region. Our lives and society require various types of energy sources, such as electricity, natural gas, and water. My associate groups aim to improve everyone's lives by harnessing the power stored in wishing stars. Okay, so this is kind of the plot of Mario Odyssey. The power plant that's powered by wishing stars, or moons as the case may be. <laughs> and it's on the ground, and yeah. Oh, it's time for me to get to work. I should get a move on before Oleana decides to give me another earful. Uh, did she, she said like three words. Danielle, it's just you head over to the vault next. Just head toward Route 6 from the stadium, and you should find the vault without any issues. Oh, am I not doing the stadium next? Uh, hello Spaces Choice. Hey there, thanks for rolling by to have a chat with your mate, the ball guy. Looks like you managed to level up your team quite a bit. Well, guess what? I've got the perfect Pokeball to celebrate the occasion. You obtained a level ball. Makes it easier to catch Pokemon that are a lower level than your own Pokemon. Okay, yeah, that's useful. A level ball is perfect for high level teams. The higher your Pokemon's level is compared to the opposing wild Pokemon, the easier it will be to catch it. Pokeballs are just full of surprises, don't you think? Are you okay under there? Like. You look like Wii Fit Trainer. Are you Wii Fit Trainer? Like wearing a ball on your head? I mean, I mean, look, look, like, look at those arms and legs. That's Wii Fit Trainer, right? Hmm. You need to gather seven gym badges if you want to face the dra dragon type user Raihan. Okay, so I'm not allowed into this gym until I've actually done uh, the other six, the other seven. Yeah. Oleana Camilla, is Oleana the boss of this gym? Or Raihan, or... I don't know. Mr. Rose is wonderful, so gentlemanly. I mean, he sounded a bit misogynistic to me. Like, talking about the earful he was getting from Oleana when she said, like, three words. Sorry, only authorised personnel allowed to take the lift down to the power plant. Uh, well, there's not much I can do in here by the looks of things. There's some doors, but I don't think they open. Yeah, I don't know what I was supposed to be here for. Uh, I guess I'll go to Route 6. Head to the vault next. It lies elsewhere in Hammerlock. Well, I'm in Hammerlock. Thanks. Um, I'll go look for the vault. I don't really know what, what it is. Uh, let's look this way, maybe? Oh, here we go. Danielle. Seems you're doing well collecting gym badges. But Hop. Did something happen with him? He was acting really odd when I ran into him. He took one look at me and was immediately, and immediately was like, I'm so sorry, Lee. It might be the first time I've heard him apologize for anything, and I've no idea what it was for. <laughs> maybe he's feeling down because he's had some hard losses in battle. When you lose, you feel down in the dumps. And then there's nowhere to go left to go but back up. You've got to think on why it was you lost, though. You know, that little brother of mine, I think he might become might yet become a surprisingly great trainer. Blast, and look at the time. Nearly forgot my meeting with the chairman. That Oligana really lets me hear it when I'm late. I... 
does everyone just hate Oleana? I don't... Now, if only I could remember which way to go. Anyway, I'd say that you should go ahead, go and say hello to Raihan while you're here, Danielle. He's the greatest rival I've got, and the final hurdle you'll have to face in the gym challenge. He should still be around the vault if you hurry. It's down that way, on the way to Route 6. So, seriously, like... Do they not like women saying things? I don't understand. <sighs> Okay, I guess I'll keep going this way, and the vault should be here somewhere, maybe? There's a Pokemon Center. Something shiny? Something shiny? Two X attacks. Nice. Yeah, you're Raihan, right? Yeah. Oh, if it isn't the trainer endorsed by the champion. Let's see, what was your name again? Ah, right. Danielle. And if Leon, Leon himself recognized your potential, then I guess you'll grow into quite the trainer. All the same though, anyone wanting to challenge the mighty Raihan has to prove they're up to it by earning seven gym badges first. Ah, so you're here to see how treasures are you? Getting a better understanding of Pokemon by studying history certainly isn't a bad idea. I like your spirit, kid. Kid, follow me, why don't you? This game is weirdly linear for a Pokemon game. Like, I know some of them were already linear, but, like, you could choose which gyms to do if you could get to them, and us usually. Eh. I'll even spare you one of my League cards. You got Raihan's League card. Now on you go. If it's the vault you want, it's up those stairs there. Alright. Hello, you're pretty. Hammerlock used to be the very center of the Galar region. We keep historical treasures in the vault. It's just up the stairs there. What, why do you keep the vault high up? Like, if anything, a vault should be, like, underground, right? Am I the only one who's, who's seeing that this doesn't make sense? You put it underground, it's harder to get into. If you put it on the second floor, like, it's, it's really accessible. You need windows and stuff, and it's really easy to get into. Also, there isn't even, like, a door there. How do you secure this place? Hmm. Oh, there's a door here. I guess that would work, but... Uh, you should also have some sort of door, like a door that closes here, like a portcullis or something. That would fit the architecture. Okay, well, I'm outside now. Yeah, this is not very secure. You found TM29 charm. The user gazes at the target rather charmingly, making it less wary. This harshly lowers the target's attack stat. Wouldn't being less wary, like, reduce your defense or your evasion or something, rather than your attack? That doesn't make sense. Uh, yeah, this is not very secure. This is the vault, right? Yep. Hi, cutie. Hey, Sonya. Oh, you're here. Brilliant, aren't they? It's great that there are still treasured tapestries that can tell us of Galar's history. Are they tap tapestries, or are they like embroideries? They're different things. The Bayou tapestry is neither from Bayou nor a tapestry. Fun fact. <laughs> tells us of Galar's history. The two youths watching a wishing star. A disaster occurs. The two bewildered youths. The youth looking out on, the, on on at the sword and shield that stopped the disaster. The youth's being crowned. What for? Did they do anything? Didn't the sword and shield do everything? What, what, why are these guys getting crowned? What? These tapestries tell the story of the creation of a kingdom in Galar. Say, young gym challenger, what sticks out to you most about them? Uh, Darkest Day? Right, that's got to be it. The story of the black storm that blotted out the skies was passed on through the years as a tale of disaster. That's what the Darkest Day is. Was, was there really only one hero, or were there two? And what even caused the Darkest Day? Uh, I think there were zero heroes. I think the sword and shield were acting on their own, according to these tapestries we're looking at. <laughs> Thanks for letting me bounce some ideas off you. I think I've got some theories now. 
I'm going to research the tapestries a tad more, but you have your gym challenge, right? I'm cheering for you to take a couple of these. I hope to see more of your wins. You obtain two revives. Thank you, Sonia. Um, is there anything I can do in here, or am I just here for that cutscene? I guess so. Thanks, Sonia. Uh, you can't go up there. I guess I'll head back down. Seriously, this is not very secure. You could bring like a ladder or whatever and just climb up to this level, skip the first entrance entirely because it's all on the balcony. Uh, not a good place for a vault. The tapestries in the vault depict the heroes of the Galar region's past. I suppose if we've got any modern hero, it'd have to be our champion, Leon. Listen up, Danielle. Your goal is to defeat the superstar Leon, so conquer Route 6 and train yourself up along the way to stow on side. Okay, so... I don't know what any of that was m meant, but... Uh, hello. Oh, you headed to stow on side, Jim Challenger? Everyone knows that Route 6 leads on to that good old, good old town. Good old town, huh? Alright. Um... Yeah, I don't think any of the stuff I just did meant anything. It was just, like, random talking to people. Didn't seem important at all. Uh, anyway, let's just keep going. Get on your bike. Okay, so we're going to Route 6. Uh, it looks like it might be like a desert of some kind. Not really sure what to expect. Oh, a sleepy. What a cute silicobra. Oh, sil oh silicobra, I see. Just look at those adorable eyes. It's our duty as Team Yell to make sure silicobra gets a nice, peaceful sleep. Hello there. If I promise not to wake the Pokemon, will you let me through? Of course. It'd be our pleasure. Team Yell are really nice. <laughs> Oh, hey Danielle, you're heading to Stone side, right? Oi, Team Yell, don't suppose you'll let us through? Nah, you kids are way too loud, can't be letting you through. And we're partic- oops, with all your stomping around, Silicobra is sure to wake up. Right. What do you say, Danielle? If we don't get past them, we won't be able to continue our gym challenge at Stone side. Can we get the train or something? Let me think. I don't think a thinking at them is going to change much about the situation. What else you got? Do I actually have to fight them? Yeah. I'll battle them. You... Yeah, that's the spirit. You two are way too noisy. You don't want to wake up Silicobra now, do you? I swear, kids these days, we've got no choice. You have to send your packing. It's all for the sake of Silicobra. Uh, I'm not going to make a noise. Can I just walk past you quietly? You were challenged by the team Yell Grunt. Stunky! Hi, Stunky. The sunlight is harsh. Uh, that makes my water moves a bit weaker, right? I think I'll be okay level-wise, so I should be alright. Uh, a critical hit? I don't know what faint does. Oh, confusion. That's very helpful. Maybe, maybe sunlight just makes fire moves stronger and doesn't weaken water moves? I'm not sure. Poison gas? Am I poisoned now? Yep. I'm just gonna keep spamming attacks. I'm strong enough that that should work. Goodbye, Stunky. Linoon? Uh, keep going. Yep, that's a Linoon, alright. Uh, Cynthia used U turn. Super effective. Cynthia went back to Danielle. 
Uh, send out someone else who maybe has stronger moves. Nope, nobody has stronger moves. Um, okay, uh, Charles it is. Puppy. Drop down. <laughs> bada 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 Blimey, even your battles are too noisy. Got some money for winning. Do I have to fight the other one as well, or did Hop do that? I think I'll leave this to you, Danielle. Keep up the pace. Seriously? Alright. But challenge for the team, yell grunts. Lipard. Go on, Cynthia. You're poisoned, but you'll be fine. Uh, yeah, I'll you turn again. And yeah, it's the same moveset as before. Uh... Sand attack, really? <sighs> Fine, whatever. Uh... I guess assurance. Hmm, doesn't matter. Why do you have to be such a bother? Dummy. <laughs> Still a cobra might wake up after all that ruckus. Then there's no point in us sticking around. Let's get out of here. I'll make these bothersome kids holler some other day. Danielle, you and Drizza were brilliant together. See, Bede really wrapped the floor with me the last time we battled. And don't get me wrong, I can take a loss. Battling means you've got to lose sometimes. But he said that I was dragging Lee's good name through the mud, being so rubbish like I was. I just can't get those words out of my head. If I'm weak, then people will think Lee's weak too. But I don't want that. I can't let Lee get dragged down. He's the unbeatable champion. I'm gonna have to take some time figuring this out. See you around, Danielle. Oh, hello, Snack. Where you going, Snack? Okay, whose voice is this? I don't know who's talking. You're one of the gym challenges endorsed by Le Leon, aren't you? I don't know what voice to use. It could be anyone. Oh, it's you. My name's Opal. If you want to know more, have a look at my league card. You got Opal's leak card. Put the leak card in your album. I'll keep my eye on you, child. I want to see what you can do when you go all out. I like your outfit, Opal. It's, it's got some colours that I really appreciate. Okay, um... Am I still poisoned or do I get healed after the battle? Still poisoned. Okay, let's just uh, dash back to this Pokemon Center real quick. Do I take damage outside of battle, like in previous games, when you're poisoned? It's not doing the thing where it like zaps the screen to let you know you've taken damage. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be taking damage. Maybe they took that out. Yep, let's rest up. Da 
Do, 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 do. Okay. Let's resume my journey. Seems like there's a lot more loading involved in just going back to the Pokemon Center there than there should have been. Uh, you're blocking the whole path. Alright. Hello. My super cute Pokemon is interested in your Pokemon. Oh, that's gay. <laughs> you're challenged by Beauty Anita. Oh, she's pretty. Clefairy! Oh, look at that Clefairy. Their little, little hand, little, little, little claw pan thingies. <laughs> uh, I have no idea what Clefairy's weak to. Uh, Water Pulse? I think they're like normal fairy or something like that. Not Water Pulse. Um, metronome? Kinesis? What does Kinesis do? Uh... Bends a spoon at me, and my accuracy fell. Okay, uh, let's try Sucker Punch. It failed. Oh, uh, Metronome mustn't count as an attack. Teleport. Uh, are you just gonna leave? Oh, okay, you send out another Pokemon. Hi, Clefable. Uh, Sucker Punch? No. I'm guessing they all- yeah, they also know Metronome. Foul play. What is that? Uh, there's a lot of damage. Whatever it is. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Uh, U turn, maybe? I don't know what's strong against this. That is not strong. That is, in fact, not very effective. Uh... I feel like Dark might be good against Fairy, but I'm not sure. Let's find out. You're in charge, Charles. Do they know anything other than Metronome? It's not a very reliable move. No retreat. What does that do? Attack rows, defense rows, special attack rows, special defense rows, speed rows. Can no longer escape because it uses no retreat. Alright. Uh, I'll try biting. It's not very effective. Uh... Yeah, I have absolutely no idea what I'm supposed to use against them. Guillotine? Uh, okay, good, I dodged it. Spark? I don't know, electric? <sighs> oh, paralysis. Yeah, that's helpful. It didn't do anything, but it was helpful. Flame wheel? Use flame wheel? Ooh. I think I'm a bit underleveled for this area. Metronome again. I'm not sure if Metronome, like, causes you to have to consider Paralysis twice, or for the uh, Metronome and the actual move. I hope so, because that sounds very helpful. Are you still going? Oh my god. I am not prepared for this. <sighs> um... You? Okay, my speed stat is pretty good, so yeah, that did the trick. Still get experience if you fainted in this game? Nope. Ba -da -ba -dum. Uh, I guess I'll keep you out and just finish this off. Or try to anyway. Okay, that should work. Metronome. 
Yeah, if you're not familiar, Metronome lets you use any move in the game, randomly. Uh, you don't get to decide what it does. Um, so it can be very good if you use something super powerful, or it can be very bad. It's just completely unpredictable. Bada -bada. Your Pokemon are way too strong. You'll be safe no matter where you go. I mean, maybe. I didn't do super well against in, against you in that fight, Beauty and Eater. Uh, what have we here? What's this? Oh, a friend! Helioptile. I wonder what you're strong against, Helioptile. Sunlight is harsh. Uh, let's try a Sucker Punch. Bolt switch. Um, that's not good. I am going to need to go back to the Pokemon Center again. Dry skin, what does that do? Uh, Carl? I would like to catch it if I can, but we'll see, we'll see. Uh, rapid spin? No, too much. Okay. Okay, let's head back. And they had that pointless bridge there that... I could just put that into the loading and just put you on the other side of the bridge, so you could skip that part, but... No. didn't add buttons when they made the Game Boy Color. I'm thinking about the really old gens of Pokemon, like 1 and 2. Um, but yeah, the Game Boy Color was, had exactly the same button layout as the original Game Boy. But its processor was about twice as powerful. I don't know, they made some interesting choices. Okay, let's try this again. Hello Helioptile. Go on, Cynthia, what do you have as your level 33, huh? Uh, let's leave with a water pulse. Dry skin? Oh, you're immune to water moves. Oh, interesting. Is that think that's what it does? I don't understand what dry skin does. Uh, let's try a U-turn and bring someone else out who doesn't have water moves. Sending out this one so I can do a little more damage without having to kill it, necessarily. Hopefully. Uh, yeah, that'll work. Dry skin, yeah, it takes a little bit of damage. Bite. Thunder wave, that causes paralysis, right? If it hits. Come on, come on. Ah. Oh. Annoying. I can't catch a Helioptile, I'm having so much trouble. <laughs> hmm. Do I want to take the ladder or do I want to go the other way? Are you like a double battle? Battling is super important to better understand Pokemon. Time for a checkup. I don't know how I feel about the gender roles being portrayed here. You were challenged by medical team Iwin and Evelyn. Dr. Iwan sent out Pawniard. Dr. Evelyn sent out- oh, they're both doctors. Okay, well that's fine then. Oh, someone is harsh. Uh, Pawniard? I don't know. I 
I don't know what Porniati is. I don't think I've seen that one before. Steel, maybe? Okay, well, it's gone anyway. Weak to fire. I don't know if that makes it steel or not. I can't remember the types. Bada badum. Bada badum. Bada badum. Ancient power. Yeah, you're gonna faint. Yeah, it can raise all your stats sometimes. Uh, well, you're weak to fire, so let's go with some more fire. Actually, I don't know if this one's weak to fire. It was the other one that was weak to fire. Oh my goodness. Uh, water pulse, toke tick, and incinerate. Also, oh, incinerate hits both. Okay, that's good. Okay, so that's not very effective, or it just it is, but it didn't do any damage. What is type is Togetic? Is it like fairy flying or normal flying? I don't know. Uh, try Psycho Punch maybe? And. Uh, ancient Power? I don't know what type my Ancient Power is. Psycho Punch failed, Ancient Power. Was a hidden power I'm thinking of. Life do? Is that like a healing move? Yeah, apparently. Interesting. Okay, that wasn't very effective. Even a critical hit? My goodness. Uh, what else do I have that's decent? Uh, you? Yeah, let's try. Let's try some spark. <sighs> Fairy Wind. Oh, that's, that's a damaging move, right? Yes. Uh, spark. And... Ancient Rapid Spin again, probably? Yeah. Oh, there we go. Okay, okay. So you're flying, I think, which means Electric is super effective, I think. All right. Ah, I just get so, so, so concerned when I see injured Pokemon. What is real strength? I'm very curious. Money. Can I climb these? Yeah, I can, okay. I'm not sure if I was supposed to go the other way or something. Can I... You climb pretty slowly. Okay, you are a trainer, I wasn't sure. Thought you might be like a healer or something, which would have been good. I think you're a healer, right? Hello. When you're playing with Pokémon at camp, they sometimes get hungry. Make curry and eat it with Pokémon and they'll be very happy. So, let's make curry together in my camp, shall we? TM15 dig! Lit. Use a burrows into the ground and attacks on the next turn. Name is Kara Liss. I am researching fossils, huh? Fossils in Galar are broken into top halves and bottom halves for some reason, huh? Strange, no matter which top and bottom you combine, they can be restored together. Perhaps within this mystery lies the key to understanding these combinable Pokémon, huh? Okay, so does this machine let me combine them or something? Uh, no. I can't interact with it. Did I go the wrong way, or...? I'm confused. Uh, can I fly to here? Because if I can fly back to a Pokémon Center, it'd be good. That's the wrong option. Uh, use map for fly in this game, because this game is weird. Yeah, I can fly to this spot, so let's just, uh... Fly back over here and heal up. Yeah, I don't think I'm high enough level for this. Like, I haven't been grinding off camera or anything. And you're supposed to, I think, in, in most Pokemon games. Boom, doom, doom. 
do do. Thank you. Okay, so now I can fly back over here. Fossil restoration diglet sculptures. So I'm guessing once I find some fossils, I have to bring them back and like this spot will let me combine them. Uh, which I can't do yet, but we'll see. Oh, something. Two fossilized fish. The fossil of an ancient Pokemon that once lived in the sea. What it looked like is a mystery. Oh, hang on, maybe I can take it here. Hello. Apparently not. I don't know how to work this at all. Uh, let's go down this ladder. Yeah, you go at exactly one speed when you're climbing on the ladders. It's a little annoying. Mm. Hang on, if I take the other ladder, I can get whatever that item is. I should probably wear a glove on both hands instead of just one. I assume there's a reason for that, but I don't know. A light clay. Protective moves like light screen and reflect will be effective longer. Interesting. Okay, so we've got a bit of a maze here by the looks of things. Um, oh, you're walking all over the place, I see. Can I go behind you? No, you're standing in such an annoying spot. Pokemon is arts too, if we both give it our all. Are you a sculptor? Like a... You into pottery? You were challenged by Artist Duncan. My goodness. Coughing? Yeah, that's a coughing. Go, okay, Cynthia. I know you can do it. The sunlight is harsh. Neutralizing gas. Phil, I don't know what that does. Uh, I'll try water pulse. I feel like water should help you clean up poison, but I don't think it does. Confused. It hurt itself in its confusion. Okay, we're doing fine. I actually have two Pokemon, but I think we'll be okay. Okay, I don't know what the neutralizing gas did, but it's worn off, so we're, we're fine. Pseudo Wudu. Okay, Pseudo Wudu looks like a tree, but it's actually rock type. Uh, so, yeah. My uh, water type is, is pretty good here. <laughs> Clunk. It's super effective. Use Rock Slide. I forget if I actually have a Pseudo Wudu in this game already. I'm, I must have seen one, otherwise it wouldn't be telling me what the type of effectiveness is, but... I may have one? I don't know. Bada 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 Take that, Duncan. Your moves were beautiful. Oh my, I'm completely fascinated by them. Catching. Oh! <gasps> it's happening! What? Cynthia is evolving! <gasps> Congratulations, your Cynthia evolved into Inteleon. My goodness. Inteleon's data will be added to the Pokédex. Secret Agent Pokémon. It's a nictitating membrane that it pick out foe's weak points so it can precisely blast them with water that shoots from its fingertips at Mark 3. Nictitating. I have never heard that word before. Snipe shot. Uh, maybe. Let's have a look. What is it? <laughs> Snipe shot water. Ignores the effects of opposing Pokemon's moves and abilities that draw in moves, allowing this move to hit the chosen target. Oh, okay. I see. So, um, basically, if they've got, like, a... Nictitating. Oh! Okay, that's, um... It's like, you know how reptiles have, like, 
an extra eyelid or whatever they can put over their eye that they can see through. That's that's a nictitating membrane. Interesting. So I guess the Intellion uses that to produce like a sniping thingy? I don't know, it's weird. Uh, I think I do want snipe shot. I might replace water gun. One, two, and ta-da! Bada ba dum Nictitating membrane. Interesting. I guess this is stone side. Do we make it? Okay, this is an interesting look. Is this like British or? I don't know. It. It, it looks kind of I don't know like Arabian maybe. It, do it doesn't really seem very British. I don't know if there's a place in England that's like this, but it's not the impression it's giving me. <laughs> Anyway, um, I think that's probably about it for this video. Uh, we've made it to Stone Side, and we got a level up, which is pretty cool. And a level up the other thing. And Evolution, which is also pretty cool. Uh, so that's pretty exciting. Um, so yeah, that's, that's about it for now. Uh, next time I'm gonna have a look around this town of... This, this is Stone Side, right? Hang on. Yes, it is. A vibrant town that has grown up around an ancient mural tucked away in the mountains. Okay, so yeah, uh, that's it for this video. Next time we explore Stone Side and probably get a badge or something from it. Cool beans, yay! <laughs> Thank you for watching.